it's time for the two monthly subscription boxes from Go Jewelry Designs. I have the monthly manifestation box right here and the monthly Mother Earth Wrap Club right in this envelope. So I can't wait to show these to you all. And I have to thank Sylvia again for the curator of, and owner of Go Jewelry Designs for all this beautiful handmade jewelry every month. And for three months in a row, it's been raining. So let's use this uh, beautiful jewelry to cheer up the rainy evening as I film. And if you're interested in seeing what's in both of these wonderful subscriptions, then please stay tuned. Today I am starting with the Mother Earth Wrap Club and I love the simple packaging that we have here. If you get one, it might come in this envelope. I'm not sure since I get both, I get them in a mailer. But first, quick announcement. You've probably seen this on my Instagram. I've also posted it on Facebook, my YouTube community tab, and I can post it anywhere else. Or if you have any questions, just let me know. But Sylvia is running a limited time offer, so act quickly for Go Jewelry. And that is for the annual advent calendar. She does an amazing 26 day calendar. It, it, it includes a whole bunch of crystal tumbles. Usually they're smooth pieces. I might be able to, I'm sure I'll be able to show you some examples later in this box. She includes necklaces as well as her handmade, handmade necklaces and handmade bracelets. It's a stunning calendar. I've seen it unboxed in years past, 26, uh, 26 days. And her promotion, limited time promotion right now is if you buy an entire month the, as in the yearly option, sorry, the entire year, yearly option of the manifestation box. That's about, I want to say $395. I'll have all the prices in the description box below. You get the whole 26 day advent calendar completely free. The advent calendar has a retail value of $475, which is out of this world amazing. And just remember too, I have a code Jesse just my name, J-E-S-S-I-E. You can get 20% off of your first order from Go Jewelry, whether that's in the store, one of the subscriptions, and I believe the advent calendar as well. And if not, please uh, make sure you note that you're coming from me. If you are looking at the advent calendar alone, it costs $195, again, for a $475 value, which for handmade jewelry and crystals, I think is a fantastic deal all on its own, but to get this box for an entire year, that would be 12 boxes of these, plus the advent calendar, $395 plus 20% off is amazing. So I just wanted to let you guys know about this limited time offer before I jump into the subscriptions. But this first subscription, remember there are two subscriptions that I'm showing you in one video. So I want to make that clear. And this is the Mother Earth Wrap Club, her first subscription. If you guys can remember, it is a monthly wrap, bracelet wrap, and it usually comes with some type of extra uh, self-care or other type item as well, depending on the theme and the month. And we always get information and some examples of some wrap bracelets, beautiful examples of past designs, that green one there is really stunning. I, I love them all. Great examples there. I can't wait to see what crystal she has chosen for fall. I mean, sorry. <laughs> you can see where mine is, my mind is for October here. And we get a personalized note from Sylvia, the curator. And it's a, I love her little Go Jewelry uh, postcard theme here too. This is very nicely branded. Jessie, I hope this serene symbiosis bracelet helps you ground your mind, body, and soul to Mother Earth and all of her sentient beings. We love Sylvia. Wow. Serene symbiosis. I'm crazy curious. I love those words. All right. We ready for this? Am I ready for this? Let you guys see before me. Oh, I see fall colors. <gasps> Mookite, I think that's how you say that, M-O-O-K-A-I-T-E. We get a little in, uh, information card about all the crystals. This is stunning. This bracelet, I love this. This is perfect for fall. 
It's almost looks like the, the colors of the leaves, doesn't it? I mean, wow. And she's been doing this lately and I've been loving it at the end of the very adjustable bracelet. It's been a single bead. This is a bigger bead of Moo Kite right here. And it, as you can tell, it comes in, Moo Kite can come in many different colors, which I love. Uh, a lot of a lot of crystals too, actually. And Moo Kite goes really well with my ring. I did a, didn't know, I did a really good job picking that out. <laughs> Random. I... This might be my favorite one. Oh, I don't know. The Flory. I love the Flory so far too. I'll have a good, I, I have a crystal playlist. I might start a go jewelry playlist except that's separate. If you guys are interested, definitely I'll put them in the end cards and description box below. So you can see some past examples. This is stunning. And you can also full, bring it all the way out and use it as a long necklace if you want. And there are different ways where you could wrap it twice and maybe use it as a choker. So this time I decided to make it as tight as possible. So you can see, you could obviously wrap this chain around, uh, but it just depends how many times you wanna loop it around. And then of course, here's the extra bead hanging off the end. I just love these colors. This is again, perfect for fall. This is what I'm talking about for fall, you guys. So excited, I love this one. And it looks like instead of an extra life care item this time, which not a problem at all with me, our extra item is a little tumble. This is an example of a tumble that would be uh, in the, perhaps in the advent calendar, just a small, very smooth, we've got a star. And she's got various sizes of tumbles in the advent calendars as well, at least from what I've seen in past unboxings. So this is also a Mukite, a Mukite star. So I'm gonna read about the properties of Mukite because she gives us these wonderful, identification cards on each crystal. Gosh, isn't that perfect? I, this is like a bee stone for fall, but let's see what the properties are. So, Mukite has energies that enrich one's trust and love for Mother Earth and all of her beauty. Well, if there's a time for all of Mother Earth's beauty, it's October, <laughs> that's for sure, in my opinion. One will find themselves more aware of nature and life around them as well as developing a connection with all sentient beings around us. Mukite grounds your mind, heart, and soul down to the planetary level and helps one truly live in the moment. That is amazing. Uh, so this is the Mother Earth Wrap Club. It's $33 if you buy a 12 months ahead of time. Same prices, both, both subscriptions at the same prices. It is up to $39 a month if you'd like to pay monthly. And that includes US and Canadian shipping for free, you guys. That's included in the price. So $39 a month for a beautiful handmade bracelet. You know this takes lots of time to get all these small beads in. And an extra item, whether it's a tumble or some type of body spray. We've had decks of cards. We've had such a variety of items. So again, this is the Mother Earth Wrap Club. Now we're gonna move on to the second subscription. Just a reminder, you can get the Mother Earth Wrap Club the entire month of October, this beautiful piece. If you're going out to a fall festival or a hayride and realize that you don't have the appropriate color jewelry, you might wanna order this. This is just a beautiful piece for fall, absolutely stunning. And remember, you have until October, October 31st for this one. However, the manifestation box that we're getting to next, you only have until October 15th. So please do act on that one quickly if you'd like to get September, or sorry, October's box that is. Otherwise you will be subscribing for the November box, which I can't wait to see either. Fall is definitely my favorite time of year. So we're gonna get into the manifestation box. Just a reminder, this is also $33 for an annual plan. So what did I say that was? $395, I believe. And then per month, it's $39 a month, US dollars, including free US and Canadian shipping. So I do know the theme. I just saw it spoiled on Instagram and it's it's an interesting theme. You guys know I like to bring positivity and be try to be as upbeat as possible in my videos because I know we all need a place to be happy. And I like my channel to be that. But this box is all about dealing with loss. So I'm not exactly sure what direction Sylvia is going to take this in, but I just wanna remind you that there are many, I've been reflecting on this a little bit, there are many different types of loss. Of course, obviously death of loved ones, death of family, friends, 
death of pets, death of companion animals, livestock, farm animals, anything you name it. And then of course we have other ways of loss as well. We might be experiencing a breakup in a relationship. It might be grief of oneself in maybe a chronic illness situation where you grieve the person you used to be. There are many different types of loss. All right, so I like to read her personalized note. It says, Jesse, in this dealing with loss practice, I prepared you tools to help cope with the unavoidable feeling of sadness when loved ones leave us. It's also an opportunity to reflect on our own lives. That's a very good point. Uh, the reflection and you know we can also think October uh, makes me kind of think going into November the end of Halloween uh, some may uh, Dia de los Muertos if you follow that the Day of the Dead that's a, all about celebrating the life of, of those who we have lost or you know gone under the veil or the thinning of the veil or whatever you may believe it might be a cultural practice it might be some religions that look at loss differently and Many Native Americans, example, you know, there's a lot of wisdom in our ancestors. So there's many ways, especially I think in this this season of the years in October and November to look and reflect and like she said, even kind of learn from our past. So without that, I just wanted to make sure you guys weren't going to be all thinking sad. There are many ways to look at this and I can't wait to see what approach she takes in this box. And with this gorgeous feather, maybe this is hinting towards Native American or maybe the colors. I, After this, I'm not sure. But I'm definitely, you know, keeping these stickers. Actually, oh, I want to make it a Native American journal spread. It's on my bucket list. But uh, which do I want to show you? Always the bracelet. <laughs> we, so this box comes with a bracelet that you can... Uh, give her your measurements you get basically a bracelet adjusted to your own measurement wrist measurement and she did say she tried to make mine smaller you guys know it's been a little bit big now of course what did I do today I tightened the uh the wrap bracelet not thinking about this one adding on top if it is smaller uh but I'm very excited and I I am not sure what crystal this is it's again we can see the complimentary um Oh, this, Sylvia, this is much better, yeah. I might even still be able to put this behind the wrap. Thank you so much, Sylvia, for adjusting it and making it smaller. Uh, it looks like we've got a large piece here, and we'll, we'll go over the cards in a minute. And then, of course, these beautiful colored beads. I am very curious, because I do not know what crystals are represented here. Uh, this is gorgeous. And again, we see how both boxes are different, yet they complement each other. And again, I think more fall colors, but that's not what she's going here. She's going for crystals that will aid in the process of grief. Now, usually, usually we get a tumble in here. Maybe the, I don't know. We're just going to keep, keep going for now. I'll speculate later. Uh, so, oh, wow. Okay. Well, the big, oh, okay. I should have known the big one. Clear quartz crystal is our big piece right here in the center. That is lovely. And this, this is a crystal I've never heard of. This is Eudialite. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how I should pronounce that. Eudialite. I'm going with it. Right there. I'm going to read about its properties because I'm very curious. It's a pretty stone. And I, look at that. I don't have a tumble of Eudialite. Eudialite has developed the nickname the Stone of the Heartland due to its connection to the energies of unconditional love and its ability to root these loving energies into ourselves through thoughts, feelings, and manifestations. Eudialite is an uplifting and energizing heart stone. When you work with the energies of the stone, you are allowing yourself to accept and communicate love. So there you go. I think, you know, when dealing with any type of loss, self-care and love to oneself is very, very important. You know, a lot of my boxes and channel is about self-care and finding what can bring joy to our everyday lives and how we can find happiness. So moving along to clear quartz crystal as well as wellness, you know, that sort of thing. Being kind to oneself. Clear Quartz Crystal is known as the master healer and will amplify energy and thought as well as effect, as the effect of other crystals. It absorbs, stores, releases, and regulates energy. 
clear quartz stimulates the immune system and brings the body into balance. So that's basically an amplification of what we're trying to do here with the, with the, um, the one I have to say phonetically, Udia light. And I think that's fantastic. It kind of reminds me, if you study essential oils at all, the clear quartz reminds me a lot of frankincense essential oil. Is, frankincense is also known to kind of um, amplify any of the oils and, and existing properties in the oils, any potential scents or uh, chemical constituents that are in the oils. It, it's one of those amplifying type oils. It blends well with lots and lots of oils. Not all, but lots. So clear quartz has always reminded me personally of that. Um, so let's look at our necklace next. So just a reminder in the advent calendar, sometimes you get the bigger chunky beads and this time she's got some smaller beads. I'm thinking what are these, maybe six millimeter beads? Some four or six millimeters, probably six millimeters. I'm guessing. Uh, I could be wrong, I'm not sure. Sylvia, if you're watching, feel free to comment. She does, Sylvia does have a YouTube channel, by the way, Go Jewelry Design. I just found it and followed her. You can hear her voice. It's fun to hear the voice behind the curators. She's got some examples of past boxes and maybe even some past, um, ooh, wow. Even some past, what am I thinking? Advent calendars and things like that. I am distracted because this is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. This almost looks like, look at the sparkle in here. You guys seeing this natural sparkle? I almost want to say mica would be in here, but okay, so our tumble was in here. I thought that might be the case, so I decided to be quiet. We have a selenite tumble. You know selenite. It's it's got that sheen, almost like a tiger's eye kind of sheen when you, you know, move it like this. I love this cylindrical shape. I don't have any crystals in this shape. This is super cool. This is very polished. I know we got selenite recently, but it's definitely one I don't complain about getting. So we've got a much smaller, it looks like kind of a wrap. Oh, I guess, it's, right, this is the necklace. <laughs> you could also probably wrap this and use this as a bracelet. How many uh, do you want in your arm? I mean, I, I could really challenge that one day, see how many I could fit. Uh, anyway, I like the length of this as a brace, as a necklace too, and nice and short. Uh, again, you get to choose, usually when you get a chain, choose your length, uh, but this is gorgeous. I absolutely, absolutely love this. The grays in here, the sparkles, it all pairs well with the selenite. And again, I don't know what crystal that is. Obviously, we have our selenite card here. And the other card hiding is Eagle Eye. Wow, that's another new crystal for me. I have... Another thing I love about this subscription is she's not afraid to bring in rare crystals. Like, some may have not have even heard of Mukite, Mukite, sorry. <laughs> and there's also the um, Udialite. I'm gonna keep that out, that's the only way I'm gonna be pronouncing that. Udialite and Eagle Eye. You don't really hear about these, and that's one thing I love. I mean, yeah, we've got clear quartz, that's fine, but to bring in these rarer stones. This is one thing I, I absolutely love about this box. One of the many things. So let me read the properties of e uh, Eagle Eye before I ramble on any further. Eagle Eye, Eagle Eye is one of nature's most stunning gems. It, it is really pretty, I have to give it that. This stone is especially helpful for those who have experienced trauma, its energy, inspires faith in one's own abilities and a belief that everything is possible with enough hard work. Wow. The Eagle Eye Gemstone opens our eyes to the truth that we are not merely spectators in this world, but rather its architects. Oh, I love that. That speaks to my heart. All right, definitely a very loose, it's, this is definitely a better as a necklace. <laughs> it's a very loose fit for me. I mean, some of you might be able to use it as a wrap bracelet. There is less adjustability. I just love the sparkles. I can't stop shimmering it in the light. All right, so selenite is one of the most important tools in any energy worker or crystal lover's arsenal through clearing energy blockages. Selenite allows for liquid-like energy fluidity it's extremely high vibra vibration floods your energy field with the highest vibrations of light. Wow. 
So, and in this picture, you can see this girl meditating. She's got, look like a selenite wand. There's tons of different shapes of selenite, just like all crystals. I mean, you know, once you get into tumbled stones, you can get into anything. All right, so we remember we get the two uh, manifestation or type of mantra type cards, one for you, one to share with a friend. And this month, the quote is, grief is one, grief is the price we pay for love. Okay, Queen Elizabeth II, she did decide to use that in here as well as on Instagram. So this is definitely something you can share with a friend if you'd like. And then we get all the amazing writing. And, oh, we've got the limited time offer. I, oh, I memorized all that. Did I get the price right? <laughs> the $475 value of the advent calendar I did. And this is kind of just what I was saying, what it looks like. It's rolled up like that and kind of like a travel type pouch. You could even reuse it maybe for tr to keep some of your traveling jewelry in, something like that. So again, you can find this exact same picture on, I shared uh, Sylvia's pictures on my Basically everywhere I share things, Instagram, Facebook, and the community tab on YouTube. And remember with the manifestation box as well, we get the honoring memories, coping with loss. We get Sylvia's thoughts on the box for the month and we get an entire letter, which I can't wait to read. And I usually read these off camera. I might skim it and give you some key pointers as well as the ast astrology for the month uh, for your birth sign. It's individualized, of course. Mine is Aries. So, and we get a whole page of that, and that is actually prepared by somebody else. Does it say at the end? Right. It's prepared by a celebrity astrologer, Kyle Thomas, and yeah, if you know him, then this is that's who that is prepared by. I wanted to say that in previous unboxings. I'm remembering everything that I've wanted to say. And thank you so much again to Sylvia for sending me both subscriptions, the manifestation box here, and of course the Mother Earth Rap Club free to review. I'm blown away by both of these this month. I don't even think I could pick my favorite. I mean, this is a beautiful necklace I cannot wait to wear just the sparkle and and of this eagle eye this is a gorgeous stone i want i want to find a tumble or palm stone of this now <laughs> uh so thank you for me supporting my crystal addiction and the muke is perfect from the Matt mother earth earth rap club for october i love everything this month this is a knocked out of the park win month for both subscriptions let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you for hanging out with me i know it's been a long video please do remember to leave me a comment in the outer comment section and also to sylvia as well it's great to have feedback and if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up it helps me and it helps my fam channel and until next time i'll catch you later bye